Oh, you can barely see me. Good morning, friends. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday morning. It is like the week before Easter, which what the heck, where did that even, how are we at Easter already? But it is Monday morning, which means it's a new vlog day, which I'm very excited for. And honestly, I am exhausted. I had a really terrible night's sleep last night and not necessarily because of my baby, but just, I just did, I don't know, it was weird. But it is 10 past eight in the morning. I have dropped Harper at childcare and I'm here to get a coffee and then I'm going to go to the gym because I apparently didn't set an alarm or I snoozed my alarm or something and I didn't wake up for the gym basically. So love that for me. So I have to rebook in actually. The 9.15 class instead, which is a pain because the 5 a.m. just works so much better. It sets me up for my day so much better. Like I really need to, I need to wash my hair so badly and I wanted to do that, you know, at 7 a.m. after I'd been to the gym already, but now I'm out with really greasy hair because I know that I'm gonna get sweaty in an hour, so I don't wanna wash it. Didn't wanna wash it this morning, whatever. No one cares, but good morning. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kirsty. I am 26. I live in Adelaide with my gorgeous little family, which is my toddler Harper, my newborn Marley, and my husband Hayden, and we also have an Australian Kelpie called Ziggy. I basically just vlog my life, especially at the moment living on maternity leave. I'm living the absolute dream, and then I just post a few other videos of things that interest me as well, including books and mum stuff and fitness and such. So I'm down at Port Nolunga, and I'm going to grab a coffee and maybe pop into the health food shop my friend owns the health food shop down here and i love it in there and i really need just like a couple of things oh there's okay, gotta go goodness what a morning I actually cannot believe oh look at that like what I've got milky boobies I've got vomit on me Marley vomited on me anaconda oh it's just been a day honestly and it's but it's 12 so I feel like my day is almost over I feel like I've wasted so much time I haven't but I feel like I have so hi oh she's gonna start crying amazing good timing miles yeah it's nearly midday I went to the gym as you would have seen then I popped into Anaconda and Target actually because I think I mentioned before that we're going camping this weekend for Easter We are brave, let me tell you, but we needed a new Coffee machine for camping. So we get the I've got the Nano Presso by Wakako, Wakako I don't know, but it like makes proper coffee and then I've got the Brewster kit as well So we can have a double shot. So I'm gonna give that a test out in a little while very excited to have coffee whilst we're away. And then I had to pop into Target because Harper needed a coat. Isn't that just the cutest thing ever? It goes, it's reversible, so it can be like this cute mustard color or pink. So love that for her. And then I just got a few little odd pieces for the girls. Somehow I've gone very pink, which is odd because I'm not a pink gal at all for the girls, but I don't know, this just suddenly happened. There was this, like, a three-pack of t-shirts for Marley, because she really needed some, in a four-zero. And then I got the same, but in, like, these three zeros. And then I got Harper a pair of leggings. So that all of a sudden was $70. And then, yeah, Marley spewed all over me in Anaconda. So that was awesome. But I'm now home. I'm going to give her a big feed because she vomited everything. I actually had planned to do some editing whilst I was out. But as you would have seen, like when I got to Port Nolunga, I then bumped into my friend Emma and we, I had coffee with her instead. So that was lovely. We had a nice time, but it does mean I didn't get any like work done, like YouTube stuff done, like I wanted to. But that's fine. It is what it is. I have something to eat. I'm going to feed her. She's like sucking on her hand. I'm going to feed her. I'm going to read. I'm currently reading 
Hatted by Devonic Perry, as well as Addicted for Now by Krista and Rebecca Ritchie, which is the third book in the Addicted slash Callaway Sisters series. But I think I'm gonna read Tattered at the moment because it's very addictive. I'm not very far in, like maybe 50 pages or something, but loving that. So gonna read that whilst I feed her, but I need to eat first. She's dual feed, obviously. Very, very quickly make myself some eggs. I feel a bit flustered, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I've got lots to accomplish today and it's already like halfway through the day. And then tomorrow I have an appointment and I'll see Ella tomorrow. And then it'll be Wednesday and I'll have both the girls. So then it'll be chaos again. And now my battery's dead, dying. So a chaotic Monday with a leaky booby. Good morning friends. It is Tuesday and I have dropped Harper at childcare. I actually have had like a really emotional morning. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why, I'm just feeling really overwhelmed and like a bit tapped out and a little bit just like flustered, I feel like. I don't really know, I just feel... I think because I now have two children, I literally never get a break at the moment. When you've got the one, like, and I just had Harper, although you never got a break, it's like different because there's only one of them. Whereas now, I never get a break from Marley because obviously I am breastfeeding on demand, which is amazing, she's beautiful and I love this newborn stage with her. Then I also have this beautiful, wonderful, high energy toddler who never stops. And other than when she's in childcare, I don't really get a break from her either. And I think I'm feeling a little bit of resentment for Hayden at the moment, which isn't his fault. And I know every mum feels this way because it's just the way mums are, but he can have time away from the girls, both of them at the same time. And it like doesn't matter. So he is able to like, go to work <laughs> and go for a beer after work or you know they've been doing the laundry which is amazing it's what I want them to want him to be doing but that means I've got two children and I don't know I'm just feeling a little bit tapped out and just a bit overwhelmed so I'm very very excited to go camping this weekend and have lots of family help like we're going with just family it'll be my parents and Hayden's parents and Hayden's brother and his wife so I'm very excited for that because they will entertain Harper a lot and they'll all take Marley for snuggles too so I'll be able to hopefully I'm hoping I can literally lay in my hammock for an, at least an hour a day and just read so I think I'm gonna try and do a reading vlog whilst I'm camping and yeah read as much as I can whilst I'm away obviously I want to get in lots of family time and stuff but I'd love to just shut out and just be in my own world for a few hours a day and just actually relax at some point because I feel like it's not going to be over -rela overly relaxing for me. We shall see. I'm just outside of the gym right now and I'm hoping to bring my camera in and film. I'm coming to the 9.30 class, which is like mums and bubs time basically because Marley actually was vomiting everything, like all of her feeds yesterday and so <sighs> it was kind of a stressful afternoon. Like I was messaging my friend who's a doctor to see if I should be going to the hospital with her. Just checking she's not getting dehydrated and stuff, but she seems okay. She hasn't vomited since yesterday. Like she's had two feeds, like she had a feed last night. She's had two feeds this morning that have all stayed down so far. That's good. Where I was going with that. Oh, so I didn't do the 5 a.m. class basically. Cause I got up, I fed her um, before I was gonna come to the gym. And then I don't know, she was just seemed a bit making some noises in her sleep she didn't go straight back to sleep so I just I couldn't leave her and I was worried that if she vomited and she choked on it Hayden is a really really deep sleeper and what if he like slept through her choking which probably wouldn't happen but you know you just get a bit irrational as a mother and just overthink things a little bit so I was just overthinking all of that and then yeah I just ended up going back to bed I actually love to know how much sleep I actually ended up getting last night Not even eight hours not even eight hours. All right, I'm gonna go into the gym. I'm gonna bring the camera and see if I can manage to film anything or not. Honestly, 
a complete hot mess. I had a very overwhelming day, I'm not gonna lie. And now my mum's calling. It's my phone. <sighs> okay, this, today has honestly been wild. I have been, uh, been very, very overwhelmed. I'm not really sure where my head is at right now, but I do need to start camp box. I can't even talk. Box packing. So if you have been watching my channel for a while, you'll know last year we went camping for Easter. It was our first Easter with Harper and now we have an extra child for camping. Luckily she does not eat and just breastfeeds, so that's handy. I also got my iron infusion today and I kind of have the shakes from it. So I don't know, I'm not really feeling very good right this moment, but I am gonna start packing the food box. So I thought I would film it. So <laughs> I initially thought that I had done a really good job at our food order because I wanted to do a click and collect. Tomorrow I'll have both the girls and I didn't want to take them food shopping. And so I did it all myself, click and collect, and I've just missed so many things. Again, if you watched last year's video, you would know we have these camp boxes. I might link that video down below because it'll kind of give you an idea of like how we act for camping, but I might give you guys like a bit of a rundown tomorrow. But basically this box is just stuff that I buy for food, for camping, like for our meals and stuff and our snack. Then in the fridge we'll have like obviously all our meats and cheese and that sort of thing and eggs and oh well, I can't breathe. And then we have another box in the camper which is like flour, sugar, spaghetti, those sorts of things. Like the basics that we will always need like tea bags and Milo and coffee and stuff. So. I have a full cream milk and I'm gonna pack in two oat milks in here. And then, honestly, most of it's like snacks. I can try peckish things, um, chalky fingers, sourdough, I want a multi-grain, wraps, because we're gonna have chicken wraps while we're away, brioche buns, because we're gonna have burgers, hot cross buns, obviously, because we're going for Easter, pancake mix, because we're gonna make pancakes one morning, which made me realize I forgot strawberries and cream. Honestly, um, going camping is basically our excuse to eat crap for four days. The household, we are pretty healthy and I generally feel the best when I'm eating the best. And camping just isn't one of those times and I don't know how it's happened. We've got some fruit and stuff and we'll be drinking lots of water and I'm, we'll be taking my greens and my collagen, those sorts of things. We'll be keeping up with that. But overall, we just snack, we eat, we play card games, we play with the kids. like. There's just, it's a snack fest, if I'm honest. I mean, a lot of this is for Hayden. I don't even like these, but I've got cheesels. <laughs> and then everything else I'll just pack. These are all for the family members. Um, we've got everyone a bunny each. And we've got some little Easter eggs that we'll keep away from Harper because they're a protein hazard. Two loaves of bread. Okay, food box done. One thing off my list, done. I now need to pack the girls clothes and I'm gonna put them all in my little, <laughs> this is all the way over here because obviously toddlers played with it, in a suitcase. And the weather is gonna be really bad whilst we're away. It's so wonky. Basically I'm just gonna pack like four or five t-shirts for Harper. I'm gonna pack jumpers for Harper, like big jumpers. And then I've got like four pairs of leggings for her, a long sleeve top, another long sleeve top, a little puffer, two lots of pajamas, thicker ones and thinner ones. I do think it's gonna be cold, so I've got the thicker ones. And then I've got her giant thick three tog sleep sacks as well. And then for Marley, it'll be pretty much the same as what she always wears, which is just onesies. And then nappies. I go off cloud. I go off cloth for a few days whilst the girls, like whilst we camp, so no cloth nappies for a few days, which honestly is a nice break. I come back like nice and refreshed and ready for cloth again, because every now and then it gets like a bit overwhelming, even though I'm in a really good routine now that I have the laundry again. It is nice every now and then just to take a little bit of a break from doing cloth nappies. I feel like it just resets me in like my excitement for them, I guess. So yeah, they'll be in disposables over the long weekend. And then hopefully when we get back, I'm hoping to really officially toilet train Harper. She goes on the toilet and sits on it and she's done wheeze and poos on the potty at childcare. But, and she did like a poo in the toilet yesterday, just like I caught it as she was doing it. We got her onto the toilet. So she knows and she'll tell me like when she needs to poo and like when she's done wheeze and stuff. We just need to try and get her going herself. So I'm gonna really work on that when we get back from this camp trip. I didn't wanna do it 
or like half do it before going camping and then have to put her back in nappies and confuse her. But when we get back, I'll be, yeah, aiming to get her toilet trained in the next few weeks. So, fingers crossed. Yeah, I'm just gonna be doing this sort of thing for the rest of the day, basically. Or for the night, I should say. And my little newborn is ready for a feed. So I'm glad that's packed. Like that's packed two days before we're going. So that's amazing, that can go in the camper. Okay, so the girl stuff is pretty much packed. I've got their nappies and wipes and wet bag in there. All their clothes and pajamas in there. Food box, obviously I packed yesterday. Harper suddenly decided after being happy for the last half an hour, as soon as I pick up the camera, she is not. Because she can hear construction happening outside. So I love that. But yeah, we're getting there. I have honestly so much to pack today, but I'm gonna wait until Harper goes down for a nap before I try and do too much because she's just chaotic. But I did manage to put the clothes in there, so that's a good start. Oh, she's thrown my Kindle on the floor. I'm going to pack the dog stuff shortly. I just need to like find where all his stuff is and separate, like give him food per day. I need to get it all into the camp trailer and then I need to do the fridge as well. So I'll do all the fridge packing when Harper goes down. Okay, it is time to pack the car fridge. Hayden is trusting me with this, so hopefully I can do a good job. Honestly, it's like quite a small fridge and we have a lot of stuff to take, so I'm slightly stressed. Burger patties, two cartons of eggs, cheese, mince and sausages, because we'll have um, sausages whilst we're away and we're gonna make up a pasta or oat. Oh. Okay, we're back. I just fully dropped the camera. I've got a protein yogurt and a kid's probiotic yogurt, so I'll take both of them. A hummus, burger relish for our burgers, bacon, tomatoes, and greens. And that should be almost everything. And then we'll do some like space for some cans of Coke and some beers and a soda, a tonic water, because I might have a couple little gin and tonics whilst I'm away if I get the chance. So I figured I would just quickly pack my clothes because I don't really need much at all. I'll literally just pack the bare minimum really. Trackies, leggings, legging, comfy pants, t-shirts, and I'll wear leggings and a t-shirt up there. And that's literally like all I'm gonna take, my undies. And then I'll take a couple of pairs of shoes as well. So I'll just take like my thongs, my Birks, and my sneakers. I'll pack another bag that's then like my chargers, my laptop, things like that. Other bag I'll have like my skincare. I won't take any makeup or anything because I'm literally just gonna hang out with family for a few days. I'll just take my hairbrush, my toothbrush, and my skincare, and that's it. Okay, it is now Thursday. And honestly, the last like day or two have been so crazy. I have been packing for camping. I've been getting everything organized. I'm now just cleaning up Harper's toys before we go. So I thought I could like mindlessly do this whilst talking. Harper generally puts her toys away herself. And for some reason I let her get away with not doing it today. I don't know why, but she also hasn't made much of a mess. So it's not too bad. And I think she's waking up, which is good-ish. We need to leave in about an hour to go camping, so kind of works out well if she wakes up like on her own soon. She's been asleep for like, an hour and a half maybe. So yeah, we go camping as soon as Hayden gets home from work. He's finishing early today. And I'm feeling frazzled, but good. I'm feeling organized. I All I have to do now is tidy up, like just clean up so that when we come home, the house is nice and tidy. And I just need to make the bed because I've washed the bed sheets today so that when we come home, we'll have nice fresh sheets because that's the best thing when coming home from a holiday. Done really well in my opinion. I'm going to, I don't even know. I can't even remember what I was gonna say. I just have to finish editing a thumbnail before Hayden gets home so that I can upload that tonight on the way down. And then, other than that, I'm pretty much good to go. I've showered and washed my hair, which seems really silly to then go camping, like washing my hair for it to get literally covered in dirt, but whatever, it is what it is. I really like the last, the video that I've just uploaded. It will have been the one just before this of my, what I eat in a day. It was everything that I ate yesterday, to be completely honest. And I've edited it today and got it uploaded so that can go live, which I'm super stoked about. I'm really just loving YouTube at the moment. I'm loving creating. I'm loving thinking up different video ideas. Like I don't think I've ever done a day, like, uh, what I eat in a day, ever. But it's all focused around me, like, 
looking after my body postpartum and how I'm feeling postpartum, all those sorts of things. I think I will do a full video soon on like how I'm feeling postpartum in general. Because honestly, it's a roller coaster. Both girls have woken up. I can hear half attack chatting. And Marley's just woken up and is crying. Not good timing. Maybe I'll quickly make the bed and then I can deal with Harper. Uh, deal with Marley and let Harper out and eat. So the next clip might be like when we're camping, to be honest, because I don't know when I'll be able to pick up the camera again. Because by the time I feed her and then Hayden gets home, we'll be leaving. Love that for me. It's our first camping trip with the full family. Woo! Marley, eight weeks old. Harper, a year and nine months old. Siggy boy in the back. How are we feeling? Mm, good. Yay! Ziggy's puffing. Can I get Ziggy to see Ziggy's ears? Oh, there he is. Oh, handsome boy. A bit crazy. sleeping in there. <laughs> a toddler running wild with her auntie. I am about to boil the kettle to make some, to wash the dishes. And then I'm gonna make myself another coffee because last night was not good. Was not successful. I got about three hours sleep. This is our setup. Kind of a messy version of it anyway. It all needs to just be cleaned up now. But this thing is the best jet boil and this is to boil our water. And it does it in like a couple minutes. Amazing, we have pancakes for brekkie. I'm gonna put that away. Made my coffee. I desperately need another one. I've been reading lots. I was gonna try and do a reading blog, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to, but I'm currently reading Addicted for Now by Krista and Becca Ritchie. And I finished my other book that I was reading too. This is our little setup inside. That's where Hayden and I sleep, and the bassinet goes up there as well. Harper's cot, girls' clothes, Ziggy's bed, and then just our stuff. And then all the doggies are playing out here. There's just dogs everywhere. Oh, Ollie, out, out, out. Oh, you just woke Molly up. Out. And that's Hayden's family over there. My parents are up there. And this is our little spot. Here's Molly, isn't it? Who woke up about 20 seconds after I put her down. So I love that. How we found finding camp so far, my love? Good. Bush babe, hey? <laughs> yeah, full bush babe. We've got Auntie Jazz and Uncle Mitch over there. Oh, and Harper, I think, is in the car. Is Harper in the car? Yeah. Aww. <laughs>